Good morning friends. Today we will talk about nutrition. Nutrition is important now than ever. As you know, we are all going through some of the toughest days of our life due to the quarantine and lockdown. So nutrition is my one of my favorite topic. I have written extensively about it, peer reviewed as well as blog posts. So some of my articles you can see on the description section below this video. So as you know, I'm a healthy man. I have uh, uh, you know 22 is my BMI as you know probably the BMI is uh, body mass index easiest way to calculate your BMI is your weight that is in kilogram divided by your height in meter squared so kg upon meter squared so if you are above 25 that is your overweight and it can go up to you know the obese category as well and I'm also a frequent blood donor as well as plasma donor and my blood sugar as well as the blood BP everything is normal how do I achieve it and you know the nutrition really matters you know it's it's not a big rocket science so a very simple you know some of the simple lifestyle changes can bring a lot of changes a lot of positive changes in your life especially during this lockdown so uh, over the years I have actually penned down so many tricks and tactics all these are evidence-based I, I reaffirm that point all of my videos I link up the evidence-based scientific research in the description section below so I'm going to share you some of the most important nutrition secrets that you will have to follow in these days as well as any other day of your life to ensure a healthy and happy and a fit life so let us first talk about evolution so evolution lights up most of the things of the you know of the life as well as the subjects field the philosophy says so you know if you look back in evolutionary days when did do you know when did uh, human beings originated in the planet earth around 300,000 years back right 3 lakh years back so most of our time period on this planet the time period the history of mankind had been we were hunter gatherers we never had any fixed meal times you know during those days we used to get the food sometimes we get you know we we hunt and we gather it and days would go on without eating anything you know these days we have proper breakfast lunch and dinner even afternoon tea you know the, the British style tea we never had in our life when did we start to have this proper meal plans just after you know invention of agriculture almost 10,000 years back in stone age so since then we started having this very proper you know three three meals a day thing so it has never been the part of it so if you want to know just one secret a takeaway message of this video is that the secret to live long healthy life is to eat less that is what the fund of the entire nutrition thing so eating less is the most important thing so you know if you look at the average life expectancy of various countries the country with the top the list is Japan you know and compare the Japanese uh, life expectancy is around 84 years compare that with the US which is 79 and now you compare with India it is only 69 years and how the Japanese do achieve that high level of life expectancy that's very interesting I have been living in Japan for five years I lived in of course and what I observed is that of course Japanese do have three meals a day uh, mostly rice their portions are extremely low you know the portion size matters quite a lot so that is very important if you eat less you can really live longer so my advice is that by based upon the evolutionary biology fasting one day of a week that's very good not only for you for the environment in general and for the to uh, alleviate the global hunger crisis as well so all in all it's very good to fast one day of a week and especially if you are uh, you know overweight or obese the best strategy to turn down your weight is to go with intermittent fasting I've been following it even though I'm fit I do the intermittent fasting my method is very simple 16 hours of fast and 8 hours of food so I can eat anything from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the daytime 
and after 3 till the next day 11 o'clock I will be on fast so that is the same thing called intermittent fasting I practice intermittent fasting 5 days a week that is every working day Saturday I eat everything just as usual and Sunday is complete fast so the, my method is that from Saturday evening dinner I will have it and the next meal I'm going to take is Sunday evening dinner again dinners are uh, I usually have it in the evening before the sunset so I think that's the most healthy way I, I, uh, rather than having the late night dinner you know probably you might have heard the saying that the breakfast is the most important meal of the day have you critically examined that statement you might be wondering who invented it or who created this statement so if you look back in history this statement was invented by an American industrialized called Will Keith Kellogg yes the same Kellogg behind the breakfast cereal he want to sell his breakfast cereal to masses so that is what he made the, made up this myth don't go for that the, even the breakfast is not that important if you skip the breakfast no problem at all it's the thing is that it's always better to irregularize your meal rather than regular meal go back in history you know go back 50,000 years back how we were that is the best option that is the, the secret of you know healthy and environmentally friendly lifestyle and secret of living long and healthy life eating less and going for fast and even if you are eating it's always better to irregularize it rather than regular meal plans you know so a non-linear way of eating the food is important that is what the evolutionary biology says us and one of my favorite author probably you know him very well Nassim Nicholas Taleb you know one of his favorite quote is that you know he never eat or drink anything that is lesser than 1000 years old so what does that mean 1000 years of human history if the things have been invented uh, you know in recent times for example pasta or pizza you know or spaghetti or even uh, samosa of course it has been recent inventions you know breakfast tea with full of uh, milk and sugar even milk you know and soda whatever the kind of uh, soft drinks that you get in the market these are all new inventions so instead of that you stick with something that has been on for thousands of years you know uh, that is the best way uh, that that is what the evolution teaches now let us see the next tip let's talk about survival time and survival food as you know survival in these times or the times of nuclear holocaust hopefully it never happens eating matters than eating healthy at least you should uh, you know uh, make sure that you have adequate food in your stock that will last for many months so it depends upon your personal style and your tastes but make sure that you have at least one carbohydrate source and one protein source for me I can survive for months if I have three things in my pantry just three things one is rice one is mung bean and one is salt so I can make you know uh, I can just boil it and I can eat it it can sustain me for months to go so at least you should make sure that you have the minimum bare minimum essentialities that actually goes on for months it could have one you know carbohydrate source one protein source and of course the salt well the oil the vegetable oil are not that essential in this period let us see examine what to avoid you know there is a very important philosophical concept called via negativa I like that concept very much many of the advancement in our life as well as advancement of humanity in general is achieved by removing the non-essentials from our life rather than increasing more complexities you know subtraction matters than addition for example if you smoke cigarettes remove that bad habit from your life it can have a, you know a substantial improvement in your lifestyle right so the via negativa the philosophy is all about removing the bad things from your diet so as you know the sugar is not at all essential 
you know so remove as much sugar as possible including uh, sugary fruits like grapes you know uh, so you can uh, try to avoid as much sugar as possible so what more to avoid from your food so sugar sugary drinks include the juice you know the fresh juice many people think that okay juice is very important because it actually gives you a lot of nutrients no that is again it's a myth juice contain hell lot of sugar if you ever want to drink juice make the 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 portion size very less and that to try to get 100 percentage juice not any kind of other juice that contains lots of flavoring substances and lots of sugar and lots of preservatives as well so if you ever get it so get 100 percentage of orange juice or mixed fruit juice or whatever kind of juice that you like but my advice is to avoid juice altogether from your life for betterment instead you can have fresh fruits you can directly have fruits you know you might have heard the, the saying that a little bit of alcohol is good for your health or a glass of wine is good because wine contains a magic molecule called resveratrol that's a phenolic substance and that's good for your heart again that's some uh, propaganda by the alcohol lobby alcohol is not good for your health you have to completely remove alcohol from your lifestyle so that removal via negativa actually is important for the getting the resveratrol health benefits of course resveratrol have got coronary heart uh, disease protective ability to have that you can have you can eat you know the uh, grapes red grapes with the peel so if you remove the peel of course that that effect is gone right that the positive attribute is gone so try to have the the uh, grapes the red grapes with the peels what else to remove refined sugar and refined food so refined food like white rice and white bread do contains you know the easily digestible sugar so these carbohydrates are called high glycemic index or high gi carbohydrate that can release much faster it can go to your bloodstream much faster so try to remove that kind of uh, white stuff so going with brown carbohydrates are always better than the white one for example brown bread and brown rice and millets or any kind of brown colored uh, carbohydrate for example dahlia the broken wheat pieces right or uh, millets it could be foxtail millet or pearl millet whatever the little millet it's really good and uh, for the, the for the carbohydrate i suggest you for uh, rotation you know oats i eat one day i eat oats another day brown rice uh, another day i eat millet another day i eat dahlia so that kind of rotation is very important try to avoid processed food as much as possible this also includes you know spaghetti pasta noodles and also if you are a non vegetarian sausages you know bacon i've been uh, i have had a chance to live in germany i know the german diet is not good in that sense they eat a lot of processed meat you know sausage and bacon that's really not good for your health so try to eat a, a, a diet as close to nature as possible that is a secret <coughs> to have a healthy lifestyle you know and another thing is the trans fat of course you try to avoid trans fat as much as possible many of the cities have totally banned the trans fat for one example is new york chips for example cookies cakes all contains trans fat a lot of trans fat of course try to avoid it and in indian style of cooking deep fried cooking do contain for example samosa do contain trans fat try to completely avoid eating samosas and any food that is cooked with desi ghee or margarine not good for your health right so and also the reusing the same vegetable oil again and again many times that is also not good for the health because that actually produce the trans other transfer containing food includes uh, you know the paneer as well as cheese and all those uh, dairy products do contain some of the processed dairy products do contain the trans fat how about dairy is it essential for human life i would say no and many uh, published literature i have linked up below this video do say the same conclusion of course the cow they they produce the milk for their calf not for the human being right and young adults do need the milk of course uh, the uh, suckling babies infants need milk but as an adult none of us really need the milk or 
you know milk product the dairy products in our life even having the dairy products is a new invention if you look back in history look back in the evolution of the human beings you know it is a recent invention almost 5000 years back the the dairy has been invented so before that we never herded uh, the cattle for the dairy production so dairy is also not essential if you are adult how about protein and calcium these two are the things that you get from from the dairy right so from the calcium as well as for the protein you can have pulses and legumes it contains a lot of thing a lot of calcium as well as protein for the calcium you can also have a uh, broccoli and uh, you know the uh, cauliflower and many of the vegetables contains a lot of calcium so instead of going for the the dairy products i recommend you to have calcium from vegetables as well as the pulses another thing to avoid is saturated oil for example coconut oil and palm oil and sunflower oil so instead of that you can go for uh, you know the unsaturated oil for example you can go with olive oil though it is bit expensive or a cheaper substitute for unsaturated oil is the uh, rice bran oil uh, you can also go for uh, you know the mustard oil this is saturated or uh, unsaturated oil of course so unsaturated oils are always better than the saturated oil you might know that the in india if you look the map of india you know which state has got the maximum incidence of the coronary heart disease as well as the diabetes it is basically kerala so kerala people you know of course i'm also a malayali and we tend to eat a lot of uh, you know the coconut oil we tend to cook uh, the food in the coconut oil and we uh, we tend to add a lot of coconut into any kind of uh, dish that we make it that's one of the main reason for this plus we eat a lot of rice and rice products including breakfast lunch and dinner but the portion sizes are quite high rather than the japanese their size is very less so what to eat and drink instead so as i told you the secret of happy and healthy life is to eat as little as possible rather than eating more so after eating less than what to eat as i told you one of the main thing is that uh, you know listen to what taleb has been saying eat anything that has been in existence for at least 1000 years of human life history human lifetime of this planet earth so don't eat much of the processed food so instead of that just try to eat as natural as possible the food as unprocessed food as possible the raw product so eat a lot of salad in your life so for the salad the best secret which i learned is to make a multi colored salad instead of just one color because the color correspond to you know the pigments of this uh, uh, phytopigments so these have different different nutrients in it so whenever you make a salad you should target for multicolor different colors how about uh, uh, tomatoes you might wonder studies have shown that tomato eating raw tomato or eating cooked one cooked to tomatoes have got better nutrients because lycopenes get released while cooking you know so instead of eating the raw tomatoes i suggest you to eat cooked tomato that to the steam cooking that i'm going to explain uh, later in this video so how about the carbohydrate as i've already explained to you carbohydrate has got there is something called gi so the the basic funda is that try to eat brown colored carbohydrate rather than the white colored carbohydrate so brownish uh, brownish carbohydrates are more complex and that's much better for your health because that has got low glycemic index and how what to drink by the way so as i told you the coffee is really good there are so many health studies that indicates the coffee reduces the cancer risk reduces the coronary artery risk as well and reduces the stress level so drinking coffee is really good if you have in watch please watch the coffee you know how to make a perfect cup of coffee video so as the tea tea is also in use for thousands of years coffee as well so tea if you haven't watched so please have a look how to make a healthy nutritious cup of tea linked up in the above of this video so check out those videos as well so what other things to eat so as i told you for uh, the oil tend to eat you know tend to have uh, the oils with most of the unsaturation that is uh, double and triple bonds you know like uh, 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 olive oil and rice bran oil and so on instead of going with the saturated oil 
Another important thing is that of course you should increase your input, the vegetable inputs uh, into your diet. But most importantly, vegetables has to be properly washed to remove the pesticides because you know the things that you buy from the market is complete, it's full of lots of pesticides and you will never know the origin of it, right? So proper washing the vegetables is important and I've already explained that in one of my earlier videos. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. To ensure proper protein in your diet, I suggest you to eat, uh, you know, to include lentils and pulses and grams into your diet as much as possible. Another interesting thing is soya chunks. So ch soya chunks do contain a lot of proteins and it's quite cheap. So probably the cheapest protein source is soya chunks. So instead of going for diary and other protein supplements, just having soya chunks regularly ensures that you get adequate proteins in your diet. If you are a non-vegetarian, I suggest you to have fish as much as possible because fish contains omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids which are really really good for your coronary heart health, you know. But unfortunately, if you, are, if you don't eat fish, you know, or if you are a vegetarian like me, so the, there is no option to eat fish. So in that case, then you can try this kind of uh, fish oil supplement which uh, do contain certain... Uh, omega-6 and omega-3, you know, polyunsaturated fatty acids. So probably that might be a good option for us. Another very important thing is that how do you eat this? So I told you how to wash this is very ex extremely important to get the pesticides out of it and to have it while cooking or while making the salad, I suggest you not to remove the uh, you know the, the peel if you happen to remove the peels then that's not really good because the peels contains most of the nutrients of almost any kind of vegetables that you see I never used to peel my uh, you know my uh, any kind of vegetables you know even uh, the carrots or even the potatoes I eat with the peels on and also it's very important to have uh, you know the garlic in it because garlic do have cardioprotective uh, functions why am i em emphasizing on coronary heart disease because heart you know the death by the heart disease the coronary heart disease is extremely high in india so we really have to see that what is actually going on in the indian system and uh, as i told you the fiber is important the peels contains a lot of fiber so try to have as much fiber as possible cucumber or carrots or anything the, the fiber content is from the peel so don't remove it and for the proteins of course the eggs i don't have any issues with the eggs i eat eggs so i'm, I'm an eggitarian so eggs do contains very good amount of protein and uh, the, the, the catch is that egg also contains the egg yolk the yellow part it contains a lot of uh, you know uh, cholesterol so so much cholesterol is not good for your uh, heart health or general health but you need a little bit of cholesterol of course statins are not good at all these days uh, doctors are stopped recommending statins because that is uh, you know that increase the mortality rate instead of uh, protecting you from the heart health so little bit of cholesterol is okay so i would suggest you if you do eat eggs confine just two eggs per day or at least one egg you can you can have it as part of the healthy lifestyle another thing is to drink uh, water so my target is 1.5 liter of water so this uh, nalgene bottle is graduated and it ensures me that i drink at least 1.5 liters per day well that also depends upon the season so if you are in a uh, summer, you know, we are approaching summer in this northern hemisphere while in the, in the, in the southern hemisphere, it is approaching the winter. So if it's summer time, you would need more water than the winter, you know, that is actually the seasonal. And how do you cook this vegetable? So the, the usual Indian style is go with the pressure cooker, right? So, but you should know that the pressure cooker, the, you know, because, because of the pressure, the boiling point of the water is very high. So the water temperature reaches up to 121 degrees and that totally degrades the most of the nutrients. Only the starch is remaining. Only calories are in empty calories. So cooking vegetables in the pressure cooker is really a, not a good practice at all. I totally advise you against it, the practice. Even 
boiling the indian uh, style of cooking the boiling is also not a good solution because it simply destroys it what my practice is that i wash thoroughly and i cut it and then i put it in uh, this kind of uh, you know this this is a uh, steamer so this wet steamer so i put my stuff in this all vegetables anything can do so for example the potatoes uh, you know i can mix up as well so potatoes if i cut it and not too fine it's like chunks of potato absolutely fine so and i can mix with other veggies as well and then in this lower part i pour with water and then as once the steam comes in i start my countdown in my watch so it's around 7 minute it takes for the potatoes to cook and for other vegetables is much lesser time for example you know the lady's finger takes just 2 minutes to cook and for the spinach it takes just one minute to cook so you have to time it accordingly so using this ensures that the nutrients of your vegetables do not go away. so you get all the nutrients preserved plus you save energy that is also very important while uh, co uh, comparing with the pressure cooker or comparing with the boiling or sauteing this method is much better for environmental point of view as well as a health point of view other than veggies in steamer you can also cook soy chunks so all you have to do is that just put this soy chunks in a water and let it be there for an hour and then squeeze all the water and put it inside and cook it so you can again you can cook it in just four minutes in this uh, steamer so the steamer is really really helpful and a healthy way to cook instead of simply boiling or using the pressure cooker so that is the gist of uh, today's talk on the nutrition and the take home message is eat less to live longer and healthier lifestyle and also try to fast at least one day in a week. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I tend to uh, you know, release videos in quite regularly and my videos tend to focus on living a healthy life and environmentally conscious lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.